Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, Dr. Kai Dupre. Episode 34, Coding While Black. This has been my first opportunity to do a post regarding Black History Month since I started uh, this channel. So today I'm here in Richmond, Virginia. I'm getting ready to head over to Sacramento and do a class in Sacramento, California. So I'm posting this very quickly before I board my flight, but I'm in uh, a town center here in Richmond or Glen Allen, Virginia, after finishing up a class yesterday. So Black History Month, right? So Black History is a subject that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, black History and learning Black History on my own, because I came up at a time when no one really taught Black History outside of Slavery's Over and Martin Luther King is the Hero. Uh, I saw the Harriet Tubman movie a couple months ago when it first came out and it was excellent. But I want to tie this Black History Month and my post into my research. So there's a book called A Struggle Worthy of Note. It's an excellent book uh, by David Wharton that I use as, as a reference in my dissertation. And one of the things that came out of the research in the Lit Review was African Americans and one of the reasons why we're so underrepresented in tech is because we've been denied the information regarding the contributions of black people. And there have been many. And those contributions don't just start in the last 20 or 30 years. But from an innovative and technology standpoint, black folks have been innovating and been involved in technology, right? Uh, that term and that meaning changes over the decades and over the centuries. We've been doing that since we were in Africa. We've been doing that uh, during slavery. A lot of the inventions and a lot of the ingenuity that was shown and uh, that came out of slavery came from black people because we're the ones that were doing the work. And those that are doing the work are the ones that tend to try to find ways to do it better. So it has hurt us not having access to generations of ingenuity, seeing examples, generations of ingen ingen innovation, generations of inventiveness. So that started a long time ago, uh, this idea of hiding and obscuring our contributions. So let me just give you a few names and a couple sources you can use. So there's a book that I've been studying for a long time called The Black Digital Elite. I've mentioned that book several times. It's by John T. Barber. It does a great job of summarizing these contributions across different areas and across different areas eras another one is called black inventors um, and the name of that brother escapes me uh, Keith Holmes I believe is his name Keith Holmes and you can find him anywhere on the web where he has chronicled worldwide the contributions of black people in technology and as it relates to our field specifically computer science and technology and programming and hardware you cannot uh, mention that without mentioning the name of Mark Dean, who has patents for IBM. Uh, other brothers, such as Lewis Latimer, obviously comes to mind. Uh, those again in technology, you look at. Uh, there's a brother, his name is escaping me as well. I'm in, I'm in a rush, so it's escaping me. But he's responsible for the mouse, creating the mouse. Uh, what is that brother's name? It's escaping me right now. I have to look him up and get back to you, but. Uh, Skip, his name is Skip. Ah, I forget his name, but I'll, I'll put it. I'll put in the link. Uh, he was in, in, instrumental in coming up with the mouse and a, and a lot of innovation around UI technology, uh, creating uh, the mouse and, and, and using that as a, as, a, as, a, as an input device. And so there's been many, many, many contributions by Black folks in the tech field. Like I said, Mark Dean, uh, the brother that, and there's another brother that created Bash. A lot of folks code on Linux, and they use the Bash shell, the Bash Bash scripting. Brother created that. There are many women that have made contributions in technology. Uh, African American women as well who, who have made contributions in technology. So I would I would ask that we find these people and make their stories known. Right? I always go to Mark Dean because folks know him from IBM. Make their stories known. Make our young people aware of their contributions. Again, I'll post a link here some of this stuff up the names that I used in my dissertation and names that I've used in various blog posts and places where I've spoken there are plenty of them there are many of them let's bring out the people who contrib contributed to tech so the young folks in tech can see uh, what this looks like right and, and obviously it's an inspiration to people but if you are looking to go into technology be a programmer or going to computer design or computer engineering or, or math or anything like that of course we can mention Katherine Johnson right the hidden figures movie and Hidden Figures makes my whole point about how these contributions were hidden and obscured. And it wasn't done unconsciously. It was done consciously. It was done on purpose, right? And why was it done on purpose? So you wouldn't know their contributions. So you would think that you were not uh, 
up to the task and something that I refer to as the genius myth that everybody that makes a contribution in tech or science and some of these folks who have done so historically or some sort of ways brilliant and more intelligent than you are as a person and that you are as a person of color which is obviously nonsense and has been disproven many times over so again I'll put a link in the in the uh, on this post some of the names that I want to to refer to and mention look those folks up spread those stories make sure I truly know about them as well as Martin Luther King and Harriet tell me some of these people who make contributions as well but in tech right let, let them see the faces let them hear the contributions and that this is nothing new this is nothing that came about because oh now we have an opportunity no this started 200 years ago 300 years ago when the country was founded and even beyond that uh, the contributions of civilization from a tech standpoint in Africa Egypt Nubia and the list goes on in Ethiopia it goes on and on and on Okay, so that's my post for Black Here, see, once again, this is me, Dr. Kai Dupuy, Coding Wild Black, episode 34. Peace.